Sure, you may not have heard of it, but it is the single biggest game franchise in Japan. So much so that they will only release new Dragon Quest games on or right before the weekend so they don't promote mass truancy. Now, Dragon Quest VIII comes to the U.S. And not only has the game been tailored to appeal to Westerners, it's full of slimes. Hey. Yes, slimes. Hey. Here's our preview of Dragon Quest VIII. Yeah. Do you have a bunch of wooden barrels lying around you need broken? Then boy, do I have someone you need to meet. This juvenile delinquent is the resident hero of our preview of Dragon Quest VIII. You may recognize a certain Super Saiyan-ishness about our rude protagonist and the other characters. That's because Akira Toriyama, Mr. Dragon Ball Z himself, is one of the lead designers. Oi, get up! Colors are bright, you're on a sprawling quest to right old wrongs, and the locals love cats. <gasps> Great! See, they even built this place. I call it Happy Cat Funland. Are you a complete fool? You're drunk and you're ruining the mood. Yes. Get away from me, you lech. So far, the world of Dragon Quest VIII looks amazing. It feels rich and vast. But the world is not harmless. There are a large number of cute monsters that want to tear your lungs out. Battles are randomly generated, and you'll frequently find yourself whisked off to a designated fighting arena that looks pretty much like the place you just left. And because it's Dragon Quest, you'll be facing a slime or two. Or 50. But this time, you have some new weapons in your turn-based arsenal. Psych Up, yes, that's really what it's called, allows you to use your turn psyching yourself up in order to deal more devastating damage the next time around. Or you can intimidate your opponent. Did I mention this is influenced by Dragon Ball Z? While all this is going on, you're treated to fight music that feels vaguely like an old James Bond song. Only 15,000 XP until my next level up, money penny. Is there anyone around here with half a brain? In case you haven't noticed already, the entire population of Dragon Quest is British. Cool, blimey! Very British. <laughs> British people are crazy. You can only save your game in the churches scattered throughout the landscape, and with the number of invisible nasties haunting the hills, you don't want to overextend yourself, or you'll end up being killed by dogs on their way to a Lord of the Rings convention. How embarrassing. Right! That's enough out of you, cat boy. This one looks like it's going to be a real treat for all the RPG fans. Catch our full exploration of Dragon Quest VIII when it wanders the countryside this winter. Rumors swirling around that the final copy of Dragon Quest VIII will contain a demo of Final Fantasy XII. And if that isn't enough to move some copies on American soil, we don't know what is.